Kim Young Wong released a new album and obliterated everybody else. <laughs> I can't believe this guy. He's so successful. But for the first time, I'm going to react to him. And let's see. Maybe I'll come to understand why he's so successful. Okay. Grain of Sand is the title. Let's start. Did you write the song? Okay, so um, did he write the song? It reminds me so much of my home country's um, ballad songs. We call it Kundiman. I it sounds very much like that. Um, so it's hitting me home because <laughs> it's close. It's very close to the sound of our Kundiman. Uh, that's the traditional ballad song in the Philippines. So that's one. Um, I like the scarcity of the instruments because I'm able to... I think I've, I've said this so many times. You know that a song is good if you strip it down to its basic and still sounds good. Like if you can just play it in a guitar and the vocalist and it still sounds good, you know you've got a hit. And this is one of those. It's really the melody and... It's really the melody and the lyrics that's carrying the song. Now, going to the lyrics, it's so poetic. And I've always been partial to songs that actually mean something <laughs> instead of songs that are just banking on catchy phrases and stuff like that. So I love that there's actually some poetry into the song. But beyond the poetry, there's actually an insight in it. So there's, there's substance in it. I love the... How, I love how he compared himself to a grain of sand because it seems so insignific insignificant, right? He didn't even say like I'm the shore in a in in I, or, yeah I'm I'm the shore I'm the sand. He's just saying I'm a grain um, of sand. So he seems so in insignificant, and then he's looking at at this other person who's making small footprints in this grain in this sand that he belongs to. So such a grand and big way of looking at somebody else. So I don't know yet if it is a love song. Um, I just know that he is putting his, himself in the position of someone that's looking up at somebody. So it could be a parent, it could be a friend, it could be somebody else. But he's just saying that I'm just a grain of sand and you're walking on me, uh, making these small footprints. Okay, let's continue. I'm starting to understand why why people are so crazy for him. So light. So it's not the real trace. Oh. This was shot here. This is the grove. <laughs> right? Yeah, this was shot here in the US. That's the grove. I'm like 15 minutes away. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's our bosses. It was shot here. So, uh, j okay, let's go back to that part before I got distracted with the fact that it was shot here. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, this is here because that's the farmer's market. I just, I never, because this, um, 
that farmer's market looks like the grove, but this train tracks look looks like the Americana. Okay. So I love the, I love that surprise because I did not expect that. He was so, not monotone, but he has a very specific laid back melody and beat. And then he, 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 um, yeah, he diverted. He went in a different direction suddenly. So that makes it a little bit more uh, interesting. Two one seven, bus two one seven. Float along in in in, in serenity. Yeah, so I love. I don't know if he wrote the lyrics. If he did, or whoever did it has a real knack for, um, for metaphors because they are really strongly painting a picture. But I love how they're they're creating pictures that you won't necessarily think of like floating in serenity is not something that it's not a clear picture in your head but it is a picture in your head um floating in the peace of the waters that's that's something very concrete but if you say like float in in serenity that's something different okay So there's there's acoustic guitar, I think there's piano and then drums. The levels, so there's uh there's the guitar and then there's acoustic guitar. The levels that he the care for the levels of the instruments for me to be able to hear every single instrument is just uh, it, 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 I've never this is rare for anybody to be able to produce something like this. I can clearly hear the acoustic guitar. Xylophone. What's that? Okay, so he's talking to somebody. like that he's not pushing it like he's not um just to give it a little of a jazz up he's not trying to take the notes higher because he doesn't have to this is not that one of those songs that is meant to impress people with his vocals he's really just trying to tell the story and he's really he's uh he's succeeding nice so initially like when he said float along in serenity i was really thinking of the ocean um but then he put this in you're floating in the air so you're float this is the irony between not the irony but how he um make concrete what he meant to say by reinforcing it with the visuals in the music video um, I also love how he would change the co this is for cinematography, but there's a very defined color scheme in every scene. This is really blue. Prior to this, it was brown. So there's like a predominant color that he's using. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it's a, a love song that is not a love song. Um, there's, he didn't really make it clear who it is that he's talking with or he who it is that he is offering the song to, which I think is brilliant because then you're not really, he's not really locking the song to become a, a love song. Because whoever it is, we, we just know that whoever it is that he is talking about or talking to is just someone he really loves and looks up to. So that can be anybody. And it's such, um, this is one of those songs that you will never get tired of listening to because it's, it's not asking a lot and it's not saying a lot. But there is so much depth. He's, he's not saying... He's not talking about the heartbreak or um, he's not talking about trying to describe the, the misery and the pain and the sadness of whoever it is that, the, uh, that he's talking to or talking with. He is just saying like, I, I, I'm a grain of sand and you're here trying to make as small of a footstep as you can, trying to, light, to walk as light as you can, um, but you can rest on me beside me anytime that you want it's what it's like having it's like when you have a friend or somebody that you love who's going through something and you don't know how to help and all you can really say is that you know i'm just here i'm supporting you you're walking on me i will always be here and um anytime that you want just rest on me and beside me and I will be here to support you so it's um yeah it's not an it's not heavy in terms of its message but it doesn't lack depth because there is nothing more pure than offering your ear and offering your time and your space to somebody that you love especially if you don't know how to help that other person um, very melancholic. As I've said, it actually re reminds me of our traditional Filipino music, Filipino ballad, which is Kondiman. But that's kind of how it feels to me and how it it uh, it lands on me. Um, I love that he did not push the song to sing high notes because he didn't have to. That's not the kind of song that this is. Um, and I specifically love the scarcity of the instruments because then I'm able to just concentrate on the beauty of this song and on the lyrics, which is really the selling point of this song. So I think one of the reasons he's so popular among the general public is that he goes against the trend while everybody else is trying to deliver such profound messages or, or um, create songs with such heavy production with a lot of layers a lot of instruments he's keeping it simple he's going back to the basics and that is to just really create music and music that com comforts people so i guess that's why and there's la there's not a lot of that nowadays um so so i so i think i get it i i get why um why the general public is so attached to him i would be too because i'm looking for that nowadays there's not a lot of singers that are just trying to create good songs you know just trying to create songs that you can listen to and relate to especially in your chill times you know or or times of melancholy or times when you're trying to think of things there's not a lot of that and and he's bravely walking into it okay i will now check out the rest of his <laughs> the rest of his album uh, but give this a listen and um, thank you thank you don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button and if you have any requests please please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or you can also get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now thank you i appreciate you until next time <laughs>